three glassine style pockets, a page and an envelope. Hey guys, it's Jamie here and today we're going to do some super simple napkin envelopes, pockets. First of all, what I'm doing is just taking away any layers to the napkin. Often they're two or three ply. These ones happen to be two, so it's only one layer that I need to take off. Then I've got the Mod Podge. You can use any craft glue that you want. If you're using a PVA, potentially water it down a little bit if it's very thick. Then super, super gently on wax paper, cover the napkin with the Mod Podge. First one I did of these, I ripped a little bit, but you don't want to go backwards and forwards over an area either. That's how I ripped it, by going backwards and forwards. So what I then decided was go over it twice. So put one layer on, let it dry, and then potentially where you've missed bits, you can go back over it then, rather than attempt on a very soggy napkin to keep adding more and more Mod Podge. This is not difficult, it's time consuming because of the gentleness that you go at and the fact that you wait for it to dry, or you can dry it, I suppose, using a heat gun, and then do your next layer. Two layers until we get to this, and you can see where I ripped it, but I still have one panel I could use for an envelope and one panel or a panel and a half I could use for pockets so it's still all quite useful. These have now dried and I'm going to try cutting them into envelopes and the way I think I'm going to do that is hopefully follow the line but possibly not because I don't think I'm going to be able to cut these on a board with a knife. To make an envelope, I want to do two separate pieces together, one slightly longer than the other, so that it folds over. A very simple envelope would be to cut this one here, Maybe we should not expect miracles from this little experiment. My thoughts were you could put these two together and simply fold that one down and make a really basic little pocket envelope. It wasn't really necessary, was it, to cut that in half? You could have just done it all on one piece. Double that one because that would give it a bit more strength. Let's glue them together first. So fold this one down for a bit of strength. And the reason I'm doing the lavender one is because one of the prompts for the Dolce Vita journal, which is on a separate playlist, is scent or scented. And of course, lavender is highly scented. What would happen if you did it upside down at the back then it would be the then you'd have two cups wouldn't you you might just fold this over actually and give it a stronger edge if i glue that side to that side and that bit to that bit first and then worry about the top That glue might show through, but you could always put some washi on or do some sewing. Double-sided tape wouldn't show through as much. Let's try that on the next one. Let that one dry. It's quite a large envelope. Another thing you could do is do like a smaller coin type pocket. So if you did, hopefully in thirds, this is a bit like a glassine pocket but printed. 
Tell you what, they're a lot tougher than you'd realise when they're together. Hey, look at that, guys. Did it. Okay, how cool am I? Right, and then fold up the bottom like you would with a glycine. Obviously, I've got to go back and do all this now in a minute. Okay, that's already got a lot on it. Oh, but it's got the right colour at the back. So we could put it on there. It's a bit sticky, but there might be a solution for that. Which would involve a bit of talcum powder, which will definitely give it scent, won't it? And rub it over anything sticky. There. It's taken the stickiness off and made it smell nice. You basically fold it so that two thirds is across the back and then the other quarter or third goes over that and the only bit you glue at that point is this side piece over that one goes I'll push this way so hopefully no glue will go on the inside of the little faux glassine bag I have learnt that if it does, talcum powder is a brilliant way to fix that problem and stop everything being sticky and gluing to it. And it fixes it instantly. The bottom, it's just a small fold up. This one's a tiny one because of a rip in this napkin. I might try for a slightly different look, ripping it. This reminds me of those little, I mean, the, it's bigger. But those little uh, bags that you, when you get a takeout coffee, they give you cocoa for the sprinkle on the cappuccino. That sticks out slightly, so I'm just going to trim that little bit off that edge before gluing it down. That over, seal it all down. That's a tall, skinny one. What have we got? We've got, that's one, two, three glassine style pockets a page and an envelope from two normal size napkins if you have enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up it does help others on youtube see the video and it's a free way you can show support for all the different videos that i make if you're not already please consider subscribing I upload three to five videos a week, every week, on a wide-ish variety of subjects. I'm introducing new subjects on a regular. I will see you next time.